This is Eugene Andrikovich from the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com Today we have a Toshiba Satellite C875 laptop computer with a cracked screen and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Toshiba Satellite C875 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to make sure it's safe to work on, and that means removing all sources of power, which also includes the battery. So in order to remove the battery, we flip the laptop over, and on the bottom there's two levers right on top of the battery. So we slide these two levers out, and we flip up the battery like so, and we remove the battery. Once the battery is removed, the laptop is safe to work on. So, in order to get to the screen, we need to remove the screen bezel. The screen bezel is the plastic frame that goes around the screen and secured to the screen assembly by some screws which are hiding behind some rubber covers. There's two on top <coughs> and two on the bottom. So before we start with this part, we're going to go over the tools that we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size of the screwdriver. We have a smaller PH00 screwdriver for smaller Phillips screws. We have a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver and that's used mainly to pry things open. A pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables and to remove any screws that may be stuck. And an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife and we will use that to remove screw covers and to lift up adhesive tape if needed. Okay, so that's the first thing we're going to do to remove the screen bezel is to remove the screw covers from the screws. There's two on top, so we put take one out, take them out one by one. And what I like to do with those is put them right beside the screw opening so that I don't lose them later on. So three, and this is four. Once we do that, we use our Phillips screwdriver, the PH1 screwdriver, to remove the four screws that are securing the screen bezel. Like so. And for each step, for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile. And I keep those piles in the order in which I remove the screws. And that helps me keep track of which screws go where when I put the laptop back together. So that's three, and finally, that's four. Once we do that, we can snap off the screen bezel. And the way we do that is put our fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and listen for snapping sounds. When you hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. That means the bezel is coming off and we work our way around the screen. If you get stuck at any point, uh, just go to a different place and come back to that point. It will usually come out easier. So we keep moving, like so. And then we lift the screen bezel out, like so, and we put it to the side. Okay, once we do that, the screen assembly is exposed. And for this type of screen, it's secured by some screws on the sides of some metal brackets. And we have to be able to access those screws. And the first trick we're going to try is try tilting the screen assembly forward a little bit. And we can access the top two screws on the side, but not the bottom. So we have another trick that we do. There's two screws on each side, and they secure the hinge assemblies to the back of the screen assembly. And we loosen those maybe a couple of turns 
each and that will help us screen tilt the screen forward a little bit and that's all we need and when you do that don't forget to tighten them once you start assembling the laptop once we do that we have decent access to the screws on the sides there's three screws on each side so let's get the bottom one first let's get a bigger, better angle for it so what I let's adjust the angle so what I did here is use that PH00 screwdriver and the reason I did that I can get into there and remove the screw a little bit easier then for the other screws we switch back to the PH1 screwdriver and those come out fairly easily so when you're doing this make sure that the screen assembly is tilted backward a little bit because you don't want the screen to fall forward on you when you're done with everything when you remove the last screw so once again we use our PH00 screwdriver to remove the bottom screw and this one fell so we'll recover it later you can use your tweezers to help you and if you still don't have enough room in there you can always loosen these screws some more so that the screen tilts forward a little bit more from the screen assembly all right once we remove all the screws we start tilting the screen assembly forward and right away we see that there's video cable that's attached to the back that we have to remove and then gently tilt it forward until we can lay it down like so okay for this type of screen there's only one connector and it's on the bottom left when you're looking at the screen from the back and from the bottom and we have to remove this connector and it's secured by some adhesive tape so we either use our exacto knife to lift up the adhesive tape or we just use our fingernails and fingertips to lift up the adhesive tape and also on the back of the video cable there's some adhesive too so we lift that up and we gently pull the connector out and now the screen is free okay before we go any further I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector when you put it back together you slide it in and you should feel but not hear two clicks that means it's properly engaged and let's get a closer look at what the properly connected connection should look like so pause the video right there there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection the two sides of the connection should be flush with each other as in this case Okay, let's keep moving on so we disconnect the screen one more one more time and we take a look at this screen this is a 17.3 inch LED screen which is fairly commonly available and let's take a look at the part number that we need the part number that we need is B173RW01 BR73RW01 and that's the part number that you need to do your search on okay we at Screen Surgeons um, also have this screen available for sale and what you get with us is that this exact same toolkit that I use here comes for free with the screen so when you order the screen the toolkit will be included with it you have a two-year warranty on the screen itself and you have free email technical support so if you get stuck somewhere along the way send us email and we'll help you walk through it and finally we ship from warehouses both on the East Coast and the West Coast so if you use ground shipping you'll get your screen in three days or less and if you live outside of the United States uh, we ship to most countries around the world just follow the standard checkout procedure to order the screen from us uh, go to www.screensurgeons.com there will be a short form for you to fill out 
which where we need your laptop model and then that will guide you to buy the right screen online and just go through the checkout there okay once you do get the screen from us now connected as I showed you mount it in the metal mounting brackets if you're having trouble with the bottom screws just put the top three screws in on each side and it will be uh, it'll hold just as well together like that and then tighten the hinge screws that secure the hinge to the back of the screen assembly and then snap the screen bezel back on and then put the two screws in at the top and two screws at the bottom and uh, you should be done and with the screw covers okay uh, that's it uh, once again my name is Eugene Panrukovic I'm the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com thank you very much and good luck